Hello, and welcome to the 2020 WNA Foundation Student Award presentation. My name is Scott Peterson, and I'm the president of the foundation. I want to welcome you all here today, and I encourage you to share the news you're about to hear on our Twitter account, which is at WNA underscore news, or on Facebook at Wisconsin Newspaper Association. The winners of today will be announced in the awards tab that will be available after the presentation. Those will include judges, comments, and more details about all the awards. So please look for that when the show is over. Meantime, before we get started, I want to introduce Eve Glantner, who will talk to you for a few minutes about a new contest we're doing for high school students that we've launched this year. Eve? I'm Eve Glanter, a member of the Wisconsin Newspaper Association Foundation Board of Directors. And congratulations to everyone who participated and special congratulations to the winners. One contest is ending and a new one is beginning. The foundation is sponsoring for the very first time an editorial writing and cartoon contest for high school and middle school students across the state of Wisconsin. And yes, there are cash prizes. The topic this year is the First Amendment. Could it be more appropriate? It's an opportunity for high school students to craft a guest column that is up to 500 words on the topic of the First Amendment and for middle school students to write the equivalent of a letter to the editor up to about 200 words. I think that all of you might be interested in this contest, given your general interest in journalism, but also share it with other high school students and maybe even take the opportunity to be a mentor to some middle school students who may be coming to a high, your high school soon. Go to wisconsinciviksgames.com for more information and again, congratulations. Here's to a wonderful future. We now move on to the high school awards presentation. Due to the nature of the event, high school and college plaques and certificates were mailed in advance of the presentation. Students should receive them by the time the program airs. In high school awards, in best use of multimedia website category, second place goes to the staff of Cardinal Columns Fond du Lac High School. First place goes to Sarah Stanislawski, Ava Beisenstein, Beatrice Lazarski of the Tosa Compass, Wauwatosa West, and East High Schools. In the infographics illustration category, third place goes to Cora Fisher of the Pulse, Indian Trail High School and Academy, Kenosha. Second place goes to Alejandro Comstock of the Pulse, Indian Trail High School and Academy, Kenosha. First place goes to Sonny Stevenson of The Pulse, Indian Trail High School and Academy, Kenosha. In the sports photography category, second place goes to Isabel Schrader of The Pulse, Indian Trail High School and Academy, Kenosha. First place goes to Ellie Herrick of The Pulse, Indian Trail High School and Academy, Kenosha. In the news feature category, the news feature photography category, First place goes to Vivian Anderson of the Tosa Compass, Wauwatosa West, and East High Schools. In the column writing category, third place goes to Sophia Hysaw of the Pulse, Indian Trail High School and Academy, Kenosha. Second place goes to Matt Escalante of the Pulse, Kenosha Indian Trail High School and Academy. First place goes to Claire Stormson of the Tulsa Compass, Wauwatosa West and East High School. In the editorial writing category, third place goes to the staff of the Tulsa Compass, Wauwatosa West and East High Schools. Second place goes to Rachel Henke of Cardinal Columns, Fond du Lac High School. First place goes to Julie Rebeck of Cardinal Columns, Fond du Lac High School. In the sports category, first Best Sports Story. Third place goes to Evelyn Skyberg of the Tulsa Compass, Wauwatosa West and East High Schools. Second place goes to Lucas Halbach of the Prowler, Chilton High School. 
First place goes to Rachel Henke of Cardinal Columns Fond du Lac High School. In the feature story category, we have winners in two separate divisions. In the division for schools with 500 or fewer students, third place goes to Hayden Bailey of the Prowler, Chilton High School. Second place goes to Theo Goody, the Viking Voice, Gibraltar High School. First place goes to Lucas Halbach of the Prowler, Chilton High School. In the division for schools with more than 500 students, third place goes to Daisy Lehman, Killing Kiro Kofi of the Tosa Compass, Wauwatosa West, and East High Schools. Second place goes to Victoria Lopez of the Tosa Compass, Wauwatosa West, and East High Schools. First place goes to Hayden Mason, Cardinal Columns, Fond du Lac High School. In the in-depth reporting category, third place goes to Julie Rabach of the Cardinal Columns Fond du Lac High School. Second place to the staff of the Pulse Indian Trail High School and Academy, Kenosha. First place goes to Sarah Stanislavski of the Tosa Compass, Wauwatosa West and East High Schools. In the public affairs reporting category, Third place goes to Betsy Lacey of the Viking Voice, Gibraltar High School. Second place goes to Eve Lazarski of the Tosa Compass, Wauwatosa West and East High School. First place goes to Sarah Stanislavski of the Tosa Compass, Wauwatosa West and East High Schools. In the general reporting category, we also have two divisions. In the division for schools with 500 or fewer students, third place goes to Karen Jewell, Augie Kunos of the Prowler Chilton High School. Second place goes to Brianna Bow, Claudia Brown, and Elizabeth Wagner of the Prowler Chilton High School. First place goes to Alex Bow of the Prowler Chilton High School. In the division for schools with more than 500 students, third place goes to Rachel Henke of Cardinal Columns Fond du Lac High School. Second place goes to Wyatt Garlow of The Pulse, Indian Trail High School and Academy, Kenosha. First place goes to So He Kang, Angelica Gonzalez of The Pulse, Kenosha, Indian Trail High School and Academy. Each year, the high school journalism programs that receive the top three general excellence awards in the WNA Better Newspaper Contest Foundation each receive a $1,000 Brannon Scholarship. William E. Brannon was the publisher of the Burling Standard Press and a past president of the Wisconsin Newspaper Association, as well as the w National Newspaper Association. He died in 1988, and his legacy continues to live on through the annual scholarship funded by his wife, Nan, and his family. This year's recipients are, in third place, The Pulse, Kenosha Indian Trail High School and Academy, Good morning from Indian Trail High School and Academy here in Kenosha, Wisconsin. And I'm Jane Ryder, the advisor for the Pulse School newspaper here. And I'm just here to thank you very much for the award that we received here, the scholarship funding to help support journalism at our high school. This has been a rather tough year. Of the 16 staff members that I have on the Pulse this year, only one is in person. So let me tell you that uh, this has been very unusual as far as trying to create a environment of a team, a staff, the camaraderie you get from production nights and things like that. That's why I feel like the fact that these kids managed to pull together and create a product that was still very interesting for the student body and award-winning is that much more special because they, despite all the adversity that they faced this year, they still managed to produce some pretty amazing work. I like being part of The Pulse because it gives me an opportunity to have creative expression in the things that I do for school and for my daily home life, and it just gives me a better opportunity to improve my creative abilities. My name is Ellie Herrick, and I'm the news editor for The Pulse newspaper. I'm also a writer, photographer, illustrator, and videographer. Uh, to me, journalism means giving a voice to the people that need to be heard. 
And without our advisor, Jane Ryder, none of this would have been possible. Uh, she has never failed to make people feel welcomed and appreciated, and she has been a huge light in the newsroom. My name is Alex. I'm the, uh, the director of photography here at The Pulse. Um, one of the reasons why I like The Pulse so much is because my passions lie in photography and graphic design, and just more of like physical media art and things like that. And what The Pulse allows me to do is I can get like real life experience doing things I like. So I can go shoot a photo of somebody and then I can go make an infographic for another assignment and really I just get to do whatever I really want to do in like professional life. In second place, the Viking Voice, Gibraltar High School. Hi, my name is Lily. I am editor-in-chief of the Viking Voice newspaper. And the reason I'm involved in the newspaper is because I find it very important to provide young people with a voice in their community and an outlet um, through which they can discuss things that are important to them. I'm Jacob, and I contribute to the Viking Voice because I think it's important to have a place to discuss student issues. I contribute to the Viking Voice so that my writing can be enjoyed by other people. The Viking Voice encourages me to stay engaged with our society and gives me the confidence to believe I can do something to improve the future. My name is Patrick Knapp and I'm the advisor for the Viking Voice newspaper at Gibraltar School in Fish Creek, Wisconsin. We are honored to receive the second place General Excellence Award. Um, our students have worked very hard this year at a distance to assemble this paper and get everything together every month. And for us in our area, we haven't been in school all the time. And it's been a really amazing way for everybody at our school and in our community. Nice. To uh, still stay connected. Um, with our scholarship funds, we are hoping um, to upgrade some of our technology. Our formatting tools for our paper are, are very old and been around for a while. So this is going to help us improve what we're doing. And uh, we appreciate the recognition. And this is really going to be an inspiration for our students to continue doing what they're doing in the future. So from all of us up here in Door County, thank you so much. And in first place, the Lance, Madison La Follette High School. Hello, we are so thankful to receive the 2020 WNA High School General Excellence Award. The staff at La Follette High School's The Lance newspaper will make great use of the Brandon Scholarship and we look forward to great things in the coming year. The, tw the 2020 school year presented many challenges for our newspaper team, but we took the opportunity to innovate and move towards a more digital, forms of communication with our bi-weekly student newsletter and our accompanying podcast. We enjoyed taking on new challenges and adapting to new ways of building school community. Our scholarship award will help us publish the next semester issue of The Lance and help it get sent out to students, staff, and families. We hope that this communication will help bring our school community together despite the challenges that we all face during virtual learning. We look forward to working with the Wisconsin Newspaper Association in years to come and we hope that you will continue supporting young reporters like us as we continue to grow. In the college contest, our first award is in the category that is new this year, coronavirus coverage. In Division B, third place goes to Emily Blazer of Arches, Mount Mary University. Second place goes to Gazelle Martin Gomez of Arches, Mount Mary University. And first place goes to Gazelle Martin Gomez of Arches, Mount Mary University. In Division A, third place goes to Joseph Schultz of the Advanced Titan UW Oshkosh. Second place goes to Joseph Schultz and Greg Sense of the Advanced Titan UW Oshkosh. And first place goes to Joseph Schultz and Billy Piotrowski of the Advanced Titan UW Oshkosh. In the advertising category, second place goes to Tatum Spiva Czech of Advanced Titan UW Oshkosh. And first place goes to Stephen Andriansi Ruta Hinu of the Clarion Madison College. In the website category, in Division A, third place goes to the staff of Arches, Mount Mary University. 
Second place goes to the staff of Marquette Tribune, Marquette University. And first place goes to the staff of Media Milwaukee, UW Milwaukee. In the use of multimedia category in Division B, third place goes to Sophie Snedeker of Arches, Mount Mary University. Second place goes to Anika Graney, Dai Busimu, and Haley Griffin of the Clarion Madison College. In first place, that goes to Emily Cabaltera and Quinn Clark of Arches, Mount Mary University. In Division A, third place goes to Beck Salgado, Annie Mutea of Marquette University, Marquette Tribune. Second place goes to Anna Walters of the Badger Herald, UW-Madison. And first place goes to Leo Costello of the Advanced Titan, UW-Oshkosh. In the page design category in Division A, third place goes to Denise Hernandez of Arches, Mount Mary University. Second place goes to Carter Uslabar of Advanced Titan, UW-Oshkosh. First place goes to Leslie Chavez of Arches Mount Mary University. In the infographic category in Division B, third place goes to Denise Hernandez of Arches Mount Mary University. Second place goes to Maya Lathrop of the Clarion, the Clarion Madison College. And first place goes to Maya Lathrop of the Clarion Madison College. In Division A, Third place goes to Charlie Sanchez Hernandez of MATC Times Milwaukee Area Technical College. Second place goes to Katie Hardy of the Badger Herald UW Madison. And first place goes to Katie Hardy of the Badger Herald UW Madison. In the sports photography category in Division A, third place goes to Ahmad Hamid of the Badger Herald UW Madison. Second place goes to John Steppe of Marquette Uni Tribune, Marquette University. And first place goes to jo Justin Milkey of the Badger Herald, UW-Madison. In the feature photography category, in Division B, third place goes to Allison Gebauer of Arches, Mount Mary University. Second place goes to Quinn Clark of Arches, Mount Mary University. And first place goes to Aimee Gonzalez of the Clarion Madison College. In Division A, third place goes to Taylor Wilkinson of The Spectator, UW-Eau Claire. Second place goes to Patricia McKnight of Media Milwaukee, UW-Milwaukee. And first place goes to Ahmed Hamid of The Badger Herald, UW-Madison. In the news photography category in Division A, third place goes to April Lee of the Advanced Titan, UW-Oshkosh. Second place goes to Carter Uslabar of Advanced Titan, UW Oshkosh. And in first place, it's Everett Eden of Milwaukee Media, Media Milwaukee, UW Milwaukee. In the Freedom of Information category in Division A, third place goes to Mary Magnuson of the Badger Herald, UW Madison. Second place goes to Caitlin Scoville, Heidi Doctor of the Advanced Titan, UW Oshkosh. And first place goes to Yuroshi Gupta of the Badger Herald, UW-Madison. In the column writing category in Division B, third place goes to Ezra Peters of the Clarion, Madison College. Second place goes to Sister Yanbui of Arches, Mount Mary University. And first place goes to Hannah Dotzler of the Clarion, Madison College. In Division A, third place, that goes to Lizzie Roast of the Royal Purple UW Whitewater. Second place goes to Joseph Schultz of the Advanced Titan UW Oshkosh. And first place goes to Ian McDonald and Sadie Biley of the Advanced Titan UW Oshkosh. In the editorial writing category in Division B, third place goes to Julia Wachotu of Arches, Mount Mary University. Second place goes to Chris Bird of the Clarion, Madison College. And first place goes to Olivia Georgiou 
of Arches Mount Mary University. In Division A, third place goes to the editorial board of the Daily Cardinal, UW-Madison. Second place goes to Leah Kopke, The Spectator, UW-Eau Claire. And in first place, it's the staff of the Badger Herald at UW-Madison. In the Sports Story category, third place goes to Anika Graney of the Clarion, Madison College. Second place goes to Emily Cabaltera of Arches, Mount Mary University. And first place, it's Christina Gordon of the Clarion, Madison College. In Division A, third place goes to Will Whitmore of the Badger Herald, UW-Madison. Second place goes to Emily Cather of Badger Herald, UW-Madison. And first place, the winner is Brian Jinin of Marquette Tribune, Marquette University. In the Arts and Entertainment category, Division B, third place goes to Brooke Shepard of Student Voice, UW River Falls. Second place goes to Quinn Clark of Arches, Mount Mary University. And first place goes to Mackenzie Moore of the Clarion, Madison College. In Division A, third place goes to Veronica, to Veronica Cuffel of the Badger Herald, UW Madison. Second place goes to Carter Uslabar of the Advanced Titan, UW Oshkosh. And first place, Evelyn Nelson of the Spectator, UW Eau Claire. In the feature story category, Division B, third place goes to Kalea Lawrence of the Clarion in Madison College. Second place goes to Isabella Forliti of Student Voice UW River Falls. And first place goes to Mackenzie Moore of the Clarion, Madison College. Third place goes to Molly DeVore of Badger Herald UW Madison. Second place goes to Benjamin Wells of Marquette Tribune, Marquette University. And first place goes to Gretchen Gerlach of the Badger Herald, UW-Madison. In the in-depth story category in Division B, third place goes to Anna Hansen of On the Edge, Edgewood College. Second place goes to Brenda Nelson Davis of Arches, Mount Mary University. And first place goes to Anna Hansen of On the Edge, Edgewood College. In Division A, third place goes to Natalie Dillon, Neil Hogden, Caitlin Scoville, and Joseph Schultz, Advanced Titan, UW Oshkosh. Second place goes to Jay Stahl and the staff of Media Milwaukee, UW Milwaukee. And first place goes to Madeline Furstenberg, Clara Newpert, and Bridget Kelly of The Spectator, UW Eau Claire. In the Public Affairs Reporting category in Division B, third place, that goes to Brooke Shepard of Student Voice, UW River Falls. Second place goes to Brooke Shepard of Student Voice, UW River Falls. And first place goes to Quinn Clark and Emily Cabaltera of Arches, Mount Mary University. In Division A, third place goes to Sophia Voigt of Advanced Titan, UW Oshkosh. Second place goes to Sophia Voigt, Advanced Titan, UW Oshkosh. And first place goes to Maya Lee of the Badger Herald, UW-Madison. In the breaking news category, in Division B, third place goes to Melissa Torud of Student Voice, UW-River Falls. Second place goes to Chris Bird of the Clarion, Madison College. And first place goes to Mandy Scheuer of the Clarion, Madison College. Third place in Division A goes to Andrew Hasey of Advanced Titan, UW Oshkosh. Second place goes to Madeline Furstenberg, Leah Kopke, Tuli Van Sistine of The Spectator, UW Eau Claire. And first place, that goes to Sydney Zizone of Mar Marquette University, the Marquette Tribune. In the Collegiate Journalist of the Year category, in Division A, third place goes to Nathan Denzen of the Daily Cardinal, UW-Madison. Second place goes to Benjamin Wells of Marquette Tribune, Marquette University. And first place goes to Patricia McKnight 
of Media Milwaukee, UW Milwaukee. Hello everyone, thank you so much. I never would have imagined in a million years that I get the Collegiate Journalist of the Year Award from the Wisconsin Newspaper Association. My mind is still blown. I worked incredibly hard last year uh, from my reporting in New Orleans and Louisiana for my capstone immersion class uh, with my professor Jessica McBride to reporting with the J Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, uh, going out covering the protests and covering um, Wisconsin's primary where I took my uh, infamous This Is Ridiculous photograph. I mean, I worked my butt off and obviously it paid off and I'm so excited to be receiving this award. I'd like to give a special thank you to my professor, Jessica McBride for uh, nominating me for this award. You know, she mentored me and she coached me throughout, you know, my journalist, um, early journalist career at UWM and it has paid off tremendously. So thank you so much for everyone that's um, followed my uh, journalism career, that's read my stories, that shared my picture. I appreciate everything that you guys have done and uh, supporting me throughout this time. Um, I'm incredibly honored. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. In the general excellence category, Division A, third place, Advanced Titan, UW Oshkosh. Second place goes to the Daily Cardinal, UW Madison. And first place goes to the Marquette Tribune, Marquette University. Natalie and I have not been entirely honest with you. Um, we uh, got you in a meeting because we wanted to tell you that your Tribune won the Wisconsin Newspaper Association's General Excellence Award. Oh! The highest honor they give out. Is that why you want to talk to me? Yes. <laughs> you guys, you scared me so bad. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I was like, I pulled up all my tribunes. I was like looking at them. Hi everyone, my name is Jenny Whitten. I managed the paper during the spring of 2020. I'd like to extend my deepest gratitude that the paper and its staff is getting recognized through this awesome award. It is surreal to think that one year ago, after putting out some amazing editions of the paper in person, uh, we were struggling with a time of great uncertainty as student journalists. We had no infrastructure or plan to work off of, but nevertheless, the staff was able to produce some amazing digital editions of the paper full of quality journalism that I am immensely proud of. Um, I truly am accepting this award on behalf of dozens of reporters, designers, copy editors, and editors. Um, without their unyielding hard work and dedication, I would not be here speaking to you all. So thank you so much. I actually brought Annie here today. If you don't know Annie, she's the managing editor of the Marquette Tribune. Yeah. <laughs> we wanted to share that the Marquette Tribune has won the top honor at the Wisconsin Newspaper Association. We have won General Excellent Award, which is the highest honor a newspaper can get. So, super exciting. We're so excited. <laughs> Hi, my name is Amy Mate, and I'm the current managing editor of the Marquette Tribune. I just want to say from all of us at the Marquette Tribune that we are incredibly delighted to receive this award. I know that a, a bunch of amazing newspapers across the state were nominated, so I cannot believe that we've gotten this honor. This has been a crazy year where we've had to produce the Tribune fully remotely after the COVID-19 pandemic. So I'm incredibly proud of everyone that I've worked with and everyone that I've gotten the opportunity to meet that we were able to win this award. I cannot believe it. I'm ecstatic. So thank you so much again. Hello. My name is Natalie St. Ange, and I serve as the current executive director of the Market Wire. As we all know, 2020 was a difficult year. But here at The Wire, we continue to push through and persevere, informing our campus community with all the news they needed to know. I'm so proud of our staff to have won the General Excellence Award. We are so honored and so very proud. Thank you. Wow, what a great program. Thanks for watching. It's so great to see such talented journalists up and coming in our field. I'm very excited to have them uh, be part of our team maybe someday. 
So it was really good to watch. Uh, I've been in this business for 40 years and it's so great to see young talent just like this that we saw today. Please look forward to uh, sharing everything you've seen today, your stories, your photos, your videos on social media, on email, and on any websites. So please make sure that you let other people know what good work you're doing and what good work uh, our future journalists are doing as well. Thank you so much for watching.